It's stimulating, mind-expanding, safer to use than alcohol. It's the in thing, the hula hoop of the jet generation, and as much a part of growing up as smoking corn silk behind the back fence. Such are the myths concerning marijuana, myths that lull thousands of young people into experimenting with a noxious weed. The facts are otherwise. Marijuana is an intoxicating, mind-muddling drug. Its use can lead to abnormal behavior, to psychological dependence, and to abuse of other drugs. The human brain, after all, is made for thinking, not fumigating. It's hardly a tinker toy for experimenting with drugs. This has been a public service message of the American Medical Association and your local station. Hi, gang. I want to talk to you about some bad dope, PCP. You know what I'm talking about. Animal tranquilizers, angel dust, call it whatever you want. It's no good. It'll do you in. I wish I could reach out there and love all of you and make you love yourself so you wouldn't have to mess with no kind of dope. But all I can tell you is this stuff is a rattlesnake and it'll kill you. Please, please, please stay away from it. I love you. And that's the name of that tune. Second spot to TV. Stop relying on drugs for stimulation. Last year, one million Americans were treated for drug problems. Seven million Americans have used angel dust. Ten million cocaine. Forty-three million marijuana. Last year, a hundred million prescriptions were written for tranquilizers. Alcohol and drugs do not mix. A healthy life. It's up to you. From the Will Rogers Institute, White Plains, New York. Stop relying on drugs for stimulation. Last year, one million Americans were treated for drug problems. Seven million Americans have used angel dust. 10 million cocaine, 43 million marijuana. Last year, 100 million prescriptions were written for tranquilizers. Alcohol and drugs do not mix. A healthy life, it's up to you. From the Will Rogers Institute, White Plains, New York. second spot to TV. Stop relying on drugs for stimulation. Last year, one million Americans were treated for drug problems. Seven million Americans have used angel dust. Ten million cocaine. Forty-three million marijuana. Last year, a hundred million prescriptions were written for tranquilizers. Alcohol and drugs do not mix. A healthy life. It's up to you. From the Will Rogers Institute, White Plains, New York. Jason Robot. I'm Jason Robards, and I'm alcoholic. I thought only losers became alcoholics. Then I learned it's a disease that could have killed me. I don't drink anymore. And now I really know what success is all about. Not just with my career, but with my wife, my children, and my life. I'm living proof you don't have to die for a drink. Get help like Jason Robards got. Call the National Council on Alcoholism in your area.